quiet Chictawaga neighborhood, home is much more than where Renee Cerullo lives. It's where she works. It's where the 34-year-old runs her growing business, RL Computing, that provides internet technology and web design services. In the beginning, it was kind of when the web was first coming out and everybody wanted a website and I had really self-taught myself how to do websites. She started working in the IT field at the University at Buffalo while she was still pursuing her bachelor's degree. She was helping a couple of clients on the side, but as word got out, many more came on board, finally prompting her to leave the full-time job, by the idea of being her own boss. I'm not a morning person, so I like sleeping in a little bit. I, I do a lot of work late at night, so that flexibility of the schedule um, really was a big incentive of that, and I love working with lots of different people. It was also more convenient for Renee, who has coped with Crohn's disease for the past 20 years. The disease that causes inflammation of the digestive tract can worsen under stress, but she says it has made her stronger. No matter how bad I was feeling, I muddled my way through it and, you know, accomplished what I needed to that day. You know, I've been very determined never to let it control my life, that I'm always the one in charge. She's definitely in charge now with 100 clients all over North America, one full-time worker and several part-timers. And she's making a name for herself in a field that's male-dominated. When I go to meetings of new clients and I bring my staff with me, they will look at my staff before they will look at me. It's just that assumption that, you know, the guy is the one, one in charge. So. But she eventually wins them over with her confidence and knowledge and great customer service, something she says big companies can't always deliver. Still, she plans to expand and doesn't rule out having her own office space in the future. For now, though, a slow, steady climb works better for her. At the end of the day, you can see that you've accomplished something. You, know, you can see that you've made a difference in somebody else's business, help them grow or help them do something more efficiently. You know, the, that's kind of rewarding. And the end is just helping other yeah, people out. And Renee says she donate, donates rather her time and her talents to many community groups here, including the Educational Technology Foundation. That's the organization that buys and installs computer equipment for nonprofit agencies all over Western New York. For more information on the Women in Leadership series, just head to the lifestyle section on our website at wkbw.com.